Now we will solve one question which is based on centroid. Now the question says that find out the centroid of this shape. Now this uh, dimension is given 800, 400, 500. No region is given. We have to solve this question. Uh, we cannot solve this question as taken as a, a single object. We have to divide it into few surfaces. Like uh, let's say I am taking a surface here. Now you can see there are the two surfaces. This is surface 1, this is surface 2, right? Now we can take the origin. Let's say we have taken the origin as I have told you. Try to take all the part of uh, diagram in positive side of axis. So I take this as origin. So this will become our x axis, and I can say this will be our y axis because we have to calculate all the values with respect to x and y, right? Now there are two surfaces only so what will be the formula final formula we know that just to find out the centroid x bar will be now a1 x1 plus a2 x2 divided by a1 plus a2 we have to fill the values here only after calculating so y bar will be a1 y1 plus a2 y2 only two surfaces so I am going up to two only so a1 plus a2 so this is the final formula where we have to fill the values now it means we require the a1 a2 first so what is a1 means area of this now this is the triangle so area of triangle is equal to half of length into width now for this it will be the width now how we can calculate this one if this is 500 this is 800 800 minus 500 so this will be how much 300 right so it will be half into if i say this is width or whatever length you can say so this is 300 into what is the height given here 400 so area one we are getting that is equal to 60,000 mm square now what about area two now area two is for this rectangle so this is 500 400 so area two will be length into width this is it that is now we will find out the value of x1 and y1 x2 and y2 now we will take this object separate let's say for this triangle only where the centroid will lie first for triangle only then i will for rectangle only or you can say in, in the form of area 2 or area 1 whatever you can take even when we will calculate the, the centroid for area 2 we have to take the same distance from origin right so for triangle area 1 now what will we say we know the formulas y bar or we can say y1 now y1 will be somewhere here means i have to find out this distance this will be y1 and y1 will be what 400 by 3 means we know that if this is we know the formula that is h by 3 so h is 400 so y1 will be 400 by 3 now x1 what will be x1 okay so somewhere here lie so i have told you you will take this as base we have this formula so i will write in this form so this now this will be b by 3 means if this is 300 so it will be 300 by 3 but we need this value so we have total so we can say total 300 minus 300 by 3 so that is equal to 200 mm so this is also now we will see for the area 2 what will be y1 y1 means it is a rectangle only it will be y1 means from this x how much distance it will be uh, directly 400 by 2 that is 200 mm and what will be now x1 means distance in the direction of x from y axis so means from this point to this axis what is the distance it will be 300 plus 500 by 2 300 plus 500 by 2 so that will be 300 plus 500 by 2 so that is coming equals to 550 mm now we will fill these values in the main formula that x1 is equal to a1 a1 we have 60,000 into x1 x1 we have calculated 200 a1 x1 plus a2 x2 a2 is into x2 that is uh, 550 
divided by a1 plus a2 so that is a1 that is 60,000 plus a2 so that is we are getting after calculation we are getting it equals to 469.23 ms so where will be y bar a1 a1 is 60,000 into and this is a1 into y1 now y1 we have the value 400 by 3 even y1 plus a2 that is 2 lakh into y2 y2 we have 200 divided by 60,000 plus 2 lakh when you calculate you are getting it 184.6 ml so in this way we calculate